Are you shopping for new bookshelf speakers and trying to decide between either the Klipsch RP-600M2 mouthful, speakers versus the newly announced Emotiva B2 Plus? If that's the case, I've owned both for the last couple of weeks and wanted to make a quick video comparing them in price, size, specs, and sound. And if you hang around long enough, you might get a little rant from me for Klipsch. So if that sounds interesting, let's jump into it right after this. Okay, first, before we start, I'd like to give a special shout out to my new favorite YouTube channel, Potato Fi Reviews. I'll include a link in the description below. Please click over to her channel and watch her great reviews on audio gear um, and click the subscribe button and be sure to follow her account. Uh, she and I have been in touch via email and was, she was part of the reason I was able to pick up these new clip speakers um, and just wanted to give her a shout out today. So please click the link below in the description and go follow Potato Fire Reviews. I promise you won't be disappointed. Okay, let's talk price. For the sake of all of our sanity, I'm just gonna refer in this video to the speakers as Klipsch versus Emotiva. All the RPM-600 2 Marks B2 Pluses, I can't keep it all straight, okay? So Emotiva versus Klipsch. Currently, the Emotiva speakers are uh, available for $450 shipped. Now, the original price for the clip speakers uh, when they were first announced were $750, but at the time I'm making this video, they're 25% off, which is $562. I'm not that good at math. I have that written down where I can see it, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you're interested in buying uh, the speakers, that, that's the price difference right now. $450 for Emotiva, $562 currently for Klipsch. The one thing I would always advise friends when buying Klipsch speakers is don't buy them the day they come out at full price. It won't be long before they come out with a new line and drop the price dramatically, um, you know, like 25% or even more on the speakers you may be interested in. So just hold off, be patient when that price drops, um, you know, pick up those clip speakers then. Okay, with both speakers side by side, we can compare their size. And as you can see, the clip speakers are taller and skinnier. They have more of a traditional uh, bookshelf speaker design while the Emotivas sit, you know, kind of shorter and wider. Uh, you'll also notice that both speakers are pretty close in their depth measurement and um, and just so you're aware, the clip speakers weigh about 18 pounds while the Emotivas come in at just over 15 pounds each. Now, uh, if we flip the speakers around and look at the rear of, the, of both speakers, you will notice that both are rear ported for better bass performance, and both can be bi-wired if bi-amping is something that you're interested in. Okay, so the elephant in the room is that Emotiva always catches flack for their speaker design, especially that sort of sharp bevel edge on the front. I always joke it kind of looks like a speaker that would be on the Death Star and Star Wars. But Emotiva is just gonna give you the black finish. That's all they offer. Klipsch, on the other hand, has two finishes, uh, which they reference as ebony and a walnut. Now, I will say that my wife, when she saw me set up the clip speaker, said, oh, those are pretty. And she's never once commented on Emotiva speakers being pretty. So if, uh, if you're looking for a fashionable speaker uh, and you're trying to decide between the two, the Klipsch might fit that better for you. Okay, before we talk specs, I just want to let you know I'm not going to go through every single spec for each speaker because we don't need to be here that long. I'm really just going to point out what I think are the three main difference in the specs between the two speakers. And the first is the frequency response, which the clips come in at 44 hertz um, and it goes up to 25 kilohertz, 
while the Emotivas are 40 hertz and they go up to 28 kilohertz. Uh, the clips have a nominal impedance of 8 ohms, while the Emotivas are 4 ohms. Now, Klipsch has a supposed sensitivity of 94 decibels, while the Emotivas rate their sensitivity at 86 decibels. I say supposed with clips for a reason, reason, and if you just hang in for a little while, <laughs> I, I'll get on a little rant and explain that later. But for the most part, those are the difference in the specs between the uh, Klipsch and Emotiva. Now, in regards to sound, Klipsch speakers are known for their brighter, smoother sound, especially in the high and mid-range frequencies. And I found that when I was comparing these with the uh, Emotiva speakers that those Klipsch sort of typical sound characteristics really stood out. For me, it was most noticeable when I was listening to uh, this CD with Keith Jarrett, Gary Peacock, and Paul Motion, at, uh, which is called At the Deer Head Inn. And when, uh, which is a great CD by the way, when Paul Motion is playing his cymbals, for me, they just kind of rang a little more uh, clear and brighter, to say it again, uh, on the Klipsch speakers versus the Emotiva speakers. Um, I also noticed that the Klipsch have slightly punchier bass. It actually surprised me because when I was thinking about a brighter, smoother sound on the Klipsch, which is what they're known for, um, I thought that, that the bass may suffer because of that. So to hear uh, sort of a, a punchier bass sound, uh, you know, surprised me um, with the Klipsch. Now, here's the last thing I'll tell you. Um, I was switching between the speakers uh, using my uh, One Little Bear audio switch. And I, I went like this because I was thinking maybe you can see it, but now I actually don't know if you can see it or not. Um, but anyway, uh, I was using the One Little Bear switch and I was basically just clicking a remote from my uh, chair where it can go back and forth between the speakers while you're listening to uh, you know, the same song. And my wife, who this may surprise you, is not an audiophile, simply said, when I clicked over to the clip speakers, uh, wow, those speakers sound bigger. And I have to agree. I did think there was just a bigger sound stage on the Klipsch versus the Emotiva speakers. Okay, I promised you a rant, <laughs> or at least hinted at the idea that there may be a small rant for Klipsch, right? This is basically it, and it comes down to the sensitivity rating. And uh, almost any time you read about Klipsch uh, speakers, either by an audio reviewer online or watch other YouTube videos, the sensitivity ratings always come up. Um, most recently, Aaron from Aaron's Audio Corner on YouTube released a video, um, and I'll link it below, basically calling out all these speaker manufacturers for improperly listing the sensitivity ratings on their speakers. And what surprised me was like the biggest offender was Klipsch. Like, He's got this great graph and at the beginning there's speakers that are really close, like, you know, one or two decibel ratings. And I think everybody kind of agrees that that's, that's okay, right? But then as he gets down to the end of his graph where there's clip speakers, they're all just way improperly rated. Now, this is in comparison to how he rates um, and tests the speakers um, versus how Klipsch does. And so Aaron's suggestion is basically to take off six to nine decibels of the sensitivity rating when you're looking at clip speakers online uh, based on how they rate their speakers. So <laughs> I'll be honest with you, you know, when I first bought these clips, I was like, oh man, they're 94 sensitivity decibel. That's pretty cool. I'm, it's going to sound so much better than the 86 decibels on these Emotivas. Well, then I watch Aaron's video, which was very informative, and figure, okay, if I take off the recommended six to nine decibels on sensitivity for clips, it's basically the same rating on the Emotivas. Now, I don't wanna spend a bunch of time trying to figure out you know, how people should be rating the sensitivity of their speakers. Klipsch has their way. A lot of the reviewers have their own way. I'm just sort of thinking like maybe all the manufacturers should get together and just figure out how to rate their speakers so that we're not sort of duped or that there doesn't have to be that much more research done. I'm basically saying like clips, let's just go apples to apples, oranges to oranges, right? Like if all the other uh, speaker manufacturers are rating theirs properly, 
um, using a certain method, then you should use that method as well and, and rate your speakers more accurately so that we know what to expect when we arrive, plug them in and start to listen. Okay, here we are. The big question, which model should you buy? <laughs> this part is always a little bit of a struggle, right? For me, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't think there's a wrong choice here. I love both speakers for both of their characteristics. I love the Emotiva speakers come in at $450 shipped. Most of my friends have zero interest in spending over $500 to buy speakers because they're building a brand new system uh, for their home and they're wanting to get away from, you know, the little Amazon speaker or, you know, Bluetooth speaker and they want to build a proper system. If I start talking to them about clip speakers over $500, they're probably going to gloss over. So Emotiva makes it pretty easy just to recommend that at 450 bucks. I've always enjoyed the ribbon tweeter. I always think it offers great clarity um, and I've always found the bass to be adequate. However, if you're a fan of that classic bright sound that Klipsch is known for, then I think you'll probably want to stick with uh, the Klipsch speakers in this instance. And if you're also a fan of just maybe a larger soundstage overall, Klipsch is probably the way you should go as well. And lastly, and I, I hate to, you know, sound superficial here, but, you know, I, I remember my wife being like, wow, those clip speakers are, are beautiful. Those look great. So I think if you are design minded and you're really looking for something that offers multiple finishes um, and that just maybe looks like a classic bookshelf speaker, um, the Klipsch is probably going to win out over Emotiva's sort of more modular design that only cover comes in a black finish. But again, like it's, it's a really, you can't really go wrong with either speaker, um, and I don't think you would dislike either one. So take that into consideration when you're thinking about which pair you should buy. Well, I hope you found this comparison video helpful when trying to make a decision between the Klipsch and Emotiva. If you did find it helpful, please consider pressing the like button. It'll just help this video circulate around to other people who might also be trying to make the same decision. But I appreciate you watching today. Thank you.